Horses have been a part of my life since I, I remember. I have pictures of me sleeping when I was in diapers and horses. Actually doing it competitively, the first course that I went to a seminar in Mexico, I was 14 years old. And ever since then, it's an addiction that I can't stop. Charro, to me, is where in Mexico. It's a huge culture, it's a passion. People get their kids involved at a very, very young, young age, like my, my father did to me. I was born and raised here in the U.S., but I do the most Mexican thing there is. It's the Mexico sport. You know, Spain, you know bullfighting. Mexico, you know charros, charreria. Mente! It started out in the field, and it was a way of technique to, to brand cattle, to count them, to mend the, the ones that are injured, you know. And it became a sport in the haciendas over the years. This, like any sport or anything you want to do in life, the more you practice it, the better you, you are. It's a sport for us, but it's a profession for some people, you know. Here in the U.S., I have my personal profession, you know, which is our restaurant. And this is our hobby, but we take it very competitively, like if we had a baseball team, and that's how we run it. I think there's 14 teams this year in the state of Colorado. And each team is like a family, you know. They all get together. Uh, everybody recruits a team member that does that specializes in their certain suerte. The suerte means uh, their event, they, they participate. There's nine different events in Charros, and you work as a team to win. But win or lose, you guys are all there as a family. I'll be doing La Cala de Caballo, which is the first Charro event. And that's one that you show your horsemanship of your horse, how well he's broke, the education of the horse. You start at the point zero at the end of the arena and you go to the 60 meters and you try to stop. And the idea is for the horse not to lift his rear feet off the ground. The longer the slide, the better in points. After that, you move over to the next rectangle and you spin in both directions and then you half quarter to each one. Each exercise is towards points, like when they spin to the right, if he leaves his right foot down, that's more points, okay? Same thing to the left, but if he picks it up, you just don't get additional points. Our uniform is very similar to a mariachi. There's certain details that's very different. What we wear is something that was a, a, a military uniform, you know? Like sometimes you'll be walking down the street and they ask you, hey, what's, when's your next song or where are you gonna sing, you know? Some guys get offended. To me, I take it kind of a joke. I mean, because I can't sing, so I would love to sing, but I don't sing. Um, so I, I try to teach people on what we do. It's been a wonderful experience for me. It's something that I'll never stop doing it and show my kids if they like it. It's something that you have to love and you learn how to love and you learn how to respect the animals that you use. Everything you do about it is, is with passion. Arriba Don Roberto Torres y sus charros las delicias, sí señor.